national champions were crowned on the final days of play at the 2015 U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships. Both teams rested players in the final game of the group stage, in which Celtic won 3-0, but the full strength of each team were on display as they battled for the under-13 national championship title. In a game between the two highest scoring teams in the age group, the unexpected hero would turn out to be the Celtic keeper Grant Farley. Both teams seemed nervous at the start as neither could keep possession. Celtic seemed to settle down and aim for the long ball on the counter as Real Galaxy looked to link up with the speedy Jacob Mayer. Mayer had the two best looks on the entire game when in the first and second half he broke through for 1v1s with Celtic's Farley. Overtime was more of the same back and forth action as the team slowed down and were visibly tired. Real Galaxy seemed to have the game in hand when Celtic was called for a handball in the box for a Galaxy penalty kick in the final seconds of the game. Farley made a huge save as he dived to his right and pushed the ball wide of the goal to send the game to kicks from the mark. Celtic took the win with a 4-3 advantage as Farley once again came up big saving the final kick to give his side the win. Houstonians 2001 of South Texas took home the under-14 boys crown after defeating GSA 01 Premier of Georgia 2-0, with both goals off the foot of forward Kevin Gonzalez. In the 32nd minute, Houstonians countered a GSA corner kick and Gonzalez received a pass on his half the field. Gonzalez flicked the ball behind him to gain advantage and sprinted from the half line, outrunning a GSA defender. Right as he approached the box, Gonzalez shot a rocket to the left upper 90, and the unstoppable shot put Houstonians in the lead. Gonzalez found his brace in the 65th minute, beating two defenders and the keeper. Houstonians earned three ties during group play, won a penalty kick shootout to advance to semis, and won 2-1 in semifinals and 2-0 in the final to earn the under-14 boys national championship. These kids mean everything to me. Um, they understand that their success in life, their success of our community, okay, has nothing to do with soccer. Soccer is a vehicle for the doors that we want to open for these young men, okay? It's a, uh, a certain type of model behavior that we expect from them to, for them to do great things. We expect these guys to be doctors, accountants, lawyers, start businesses. But it starts with that same discipline that it takes and the same sacrifice to be a national champion. Sporting KC Academy of Kansas finished their tournament with five straight wins to claim the under-15 boys national championship. Sporting's 3-1 final win came against Fuster FC of Maryland in the national championship final. Sporting started off the scoring in the 22nd minute when Roman Knox found U.S. under-14 national team player Cameron Duke with a pass. Duke got around his defender and slotted the ball past the Fuster FC keeper for the 1-0 lead. Fuster's Thomas Sidlick evened the scoreline early in the second half when he picked up a poor clearance and then beat the keeper near post. Sporting answered immediately when Abdu Kakia received a pass at the top of the box from a teammate. Kakia turned, beat his defender, and expertly placed a low shot back post for a 2-1 advantage, with what would end up being the game winner. Sporting's Jacob Hall scored a late goal and added time to seal the win. With a 3-1 win, Sporting KC Academy are the new under-15 boys U.S. Youth Soccer National Champions and the first boys team from Kansas to claim the title. Yeah! 
The under-16 boys final featured two national championship newcomers as Baltimore Celtic of Maryland defeated Seattle United 98 Copa of Washington 2-1. This marked the second time the team squared off as both teams hailed from Group A and played on day three. Seattle United defeated Celtic 1-0 in group play, and it looked like the finals could be a mirror image when in the 16th minute, a Seattle long throw-in bounced around in the box and was put in for an early Washington 1-0 lead. Celtic responded in the 57th minute when Nicholas Brown found himself alone on the end of a through ball and beat the keeper on far post for the 1-1 tie. Overtime appeared to be on the horizon until a 74th minute Celtic corner kick was headed back into the box and found Dominic Duncan for a point blank shot to put his team up 2-1 and ultimately secure the national championship. Yeah, there's nothing like winning a national championship. Um, you know, our staff's been fortunate to be in a lot of these over the last decade or so, and uh, it, it never changes. Moments like this can't quite put uh, into it proper words, um, but just the excitement you see on the face, and even the guys who, who aren't eligible anymore, the 17s who were knocked out in the semifinals, to have them here and, and, and cheering on their group and, and storming the field and just as happy for their brothers as they are for, for themselves when they won a championship, is, uh, it makes me speechless. Baltimore South. After falling behind early, Chicago Magic PSG Pre-Academy of Illinois stormed back for a 4-1 win over Arlington Impact Red of Virginia in the Under-17 Boys National Championship Final. Arlington took a 1-0 lead in the 8th minute when Brandon Orozco timed his run behind the Chicago back line and sent a right-footed strike just inside far post. Chicago Magic tied the game and subsequently took the lead on two well-taken free kicks by Aaron Ebolua. The Virginia side hung around as it pushed for an equalizer, but Chicago pushed the lead to 3-1 in the 81st minute when Jesus Perez finished a nice give-and-go with a chip over the Arlington keeper. Mike Ogayo added a stoppage time insurance goal to cap Chicago's 4-1 victory that gave the club its first national title in 12 years. After falling to LVSA 97 Red of Nevada in the 2015 Region 4 Championship and first day of play at this week's National Championships, under-18 boys FC Golden State White of California South exacted its revenge in the National Final with a 2-1 win. Macon Abreu was the hero for Golden State as his first goal gave the California squad an early lead in the 8th minute after the forward ran down the left flank cut back to his right foot and fired a shot into near post in front of two defenders. It was Abreu again scoring for Golden State in the 50th minute when his first shot was blocked by the LVSA goalkeeper, only for a favorable rebound to come right back. Abreu wouldn't miss a second time as his shot found the back of the net to put his side up 2-0. However, the two-time defending Region 4 champions would not go away easily as LVSA's Tristan Blackman's cross found Justin Lyon for the header in the 80th minute, but that would be as close as LVSA would get as the match would end 2-1. Couldn't be happier. These kids deserve it. They did everything right, all the way from the beginning to the end. They're winners, they're champions, and they're awesome kids. FC Golden State White. For the first time in 56 years, a New York team claimed the James P. McGuire Cup as Massapequa Arsenal of Eastern New York defeated St. Louis Scott Gallagher of Missouri 3-1 in the Under-19 Boys Final. Arsenal put the pressure on from the opening whistle and secured a lead just three minutes into the game. The St. Louis keeper got his hands on a low drive through traffic, but Arsenal's Michael Farisay was in the right spot and hit home the rebound to put his side in front. Massapequa threatened with a couple of dangerous free kicks shortly after, 
but St. Louis fended them off and play evened out. Shortly after halftime, Scott Gallagher netted an emphatic equalizer when Stephen May hit a volley from well outside the box that flew inside the left post. Arsenal earned a chance to regain the lead in the 67th minute when it drew a penalty, and Nicholas Sestaro converted his kick from the spot to put the Eastern New York side back on top. Brendan Gallivan extended the lead to 3-1 with another penalty kick, and Arsenal held off a late push by St. Louis to take the 3-1 victory and claim the Maguire Cup. Coming from Long Island, we could have never imagined competing on a national stage like this. I mean, we were just friends since we were eight, nine years old. We just started kicking the ball around one day. And we were like, wow, we're actually pretty good. Started playing together. I mean, I've played with some of these kids since I was six, seven years old. And just being able to lift up the trophy with them, some of these kids I consider my brothers. It's my family away from my family. It's an unreal experience.